Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm president of National Academy of Osteopathy and today I wish to speak with you about the most common fraud against extended health plan insurance companies in Canada. Manual osteopathy and other health services in Canada are covered by extended health plan insurance uh, about 30% of the population have EHP uh, insurance coverage that pays for them whenever they see a manual osteopath, chiropractor, physiotherapist, massage therapist, and so on. The extended health plan insurance coverage is, in Canada is based on reimbursement policy, meaning that a patient has to pay for the services that ha has been provided get a paid in full receipt, submit that to the insurance company, and get reimbursed by the insurance company. Why the insurance company has made a system like that? Because they don't want anybody without any reason to use their health, health uh, insurance benefits. They want only when the patient finds it necessary to go and get the services. And they feel when the patient pays for services, he, he or she will think twice before using the services for no reason. That's why they put this policy. Unfortunately, many health professionals in Canada, they feel that they are, uh, they are helping the patients by providing a fake document, a fake paid in full receipt. When the patient hasn't paid, they feel that they want to help the patient. They feel that some of the patients don't have the money for, to pay for their services. So a patient comes, gets a treatment, gets a fake uh, paid in full receipt, submits it to the insurance company, gets paid, and comes and pays the health professional, gives the money to the health professional. This happens a lot in Canada, but it is a type of insurance fraud. It is not permitted. If the insurance company finds out, you get delisted and blacklisted by them and they no longer cover your services. And they routinely send questionnaires to patients asking them if they paid for the services and lying to the insurance company is co considered a criminal matter you cannot lie to them, they can, uh, they can report you because it's considered theft, uh, and theft under the criminal law uh, is a criminal matter. So they, they can ask the patient, they can ask you if, if the patient paid, they may require proof of payment. So in your file, you always have to write how you, the patient paid, when, when he, pay, he or she paid for services, how much they paid and to what method they paid. Did they use credit card? If they pay by check, make sure you keep a copy of the check in the patient's file. The proof of payment uh, you have to provide if insurance company requests it. If your patient pays by cash, write down as well. So please make sure uh, you follow this. This is a common fraud and fraud against insurance company cost everybody. Uh, sometimes the whole profession get delisted and that damage everybody. Uh, we have been graduating manual osteopaths since 2010 to National Academy of Osteopathy and so far, thank God, uh, I'm grateful to God, uh, we did not have even one case of insurance fraud uh, by, uh, by any of our alumni. Myself, uh, as you know, I also founded the Osteopathic Chronic Pain Clinics of Canada since September 2017, uh, and we now have uh, 346 clinics in 33 countries in almost all Canadian provinces. We have clinics, and again, thanks God, we did not have even one case of uh, insurance fraud, improper insurance billing by any of our clinics, and we are very proud of this. Uh, I teach uh, over 250 business lectures to my students, and I focus heavily on ethics as well uh, to ensure that my, my students know all the laws, all the insurance policies and laws to prevent uh, unknowingly 
doing something can damage themselves and damage our professions. That is why we never had any mal uh, malpractice against uh, our students, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful to that. Uh, so please ensure you've, you know all the laws uh, when it comes to uh, proper insurance billing uh, for manual osteopathic services. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Wherever you are, I hope for you to have a wonderful day filled with love, health, wealth, and happiness, and God bless. Namaste.